All right. So our stage one kit uh, just started. You can see right here the coolant temp is only 57 degrees. This is a cool old motor, so we'll show you what the new head kind of does with temp as it's coming up. And show you what our stage one kit puts out from a full uh, cold first run to a hot run. So we just gotta let everything warm up here. Uh, bear with me. You can see the temp coming up. We don't want to load it until the engine's warmed up. You can see right now it's making only three point whatever horsepower. And that's just what it takes to spin the water pump at this RPM. There's no load on the dyno. See, it's coming up to 98 right here. And it usually just kind of levels off, maybe even drop down to 95, because that's where the thermostat starts to open. See, there now it's dropping back down. That would indicate that it is starting to open up. And you can see what our uh, water temps are doing during the run. And you'll see it will climb up. leveling off at 95 which it kind of does and this is still the stock head with the stock thermostat All right, we'll go into our first run right here. Get my calibration set. We'll start the run at 6,500 RPM. Uh, we will do a 150 RPM per second. So the RPM will increase 150 RPM for each second of test. Right now, uh, our weather, we're at 42 degrees in the dyno room. Uh, this is all of our corrections and specs for those of you that uh, wanna know. His first run, uh, 171 at 8400. Now that will change a little bit as everything gets hot.
Uh, that one right there was 169.3. And you'll see the runs start to get more consistent as it warms up. The coolant temp you can see down here is uh, about 120, even though it is, does have a 110 thermostat in it. That run there was 169 at everywhere from That was 169.1 at 8400. This is our exhaust temp right here. That one was 168.4. You can see our coolant temp is like 120s. That one was 168. Now we're just about running one line right over the other, which tells us this is what it's going to do. Uh, it was 168, a little over 168, which is about 13 horsepower over stock. Do a couple more just to show you the repeatability and the accuracy. As a just shy of 168, so still right in the same zone, less than 1% variance from the run before.
go into one more and then uh, we'll call her good. overlay uh, what we get for a stock run as you can see uh, we're even on the really heat soaked run uh, we are at 12 horse and uh, some change so that's what you can expect from our access platform anywhere from uh, 12 to 14 uh, you could see this was about the lowest run out of any of them so you can definitely expect to get what we tell you you're gonna get uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part of it I can go into another thing for you where we're just gonna let the thing run We're going to change this here. We're just going to hold this thing at some RPM and show you uh, what it's doing. We need to get our power so we're in the right zone so we can see it. We're going to go 150 to 190. So at the bottom of the scale we got 150 horse. Top of the scale we have 190. Uh, 170 will be right in this middle line. Uh, Engine speed, we need to make 7,500 to And I'll show you if we uh, move the RPM up and down, what that will do to our horsepower. So we're gonna So there you go folks, uh, we held it uh, well over a minute wide open, it was about a minute and a quarter and I'll stop this just to kind of explain we're at just sitting right at 8400 RPM and the center line here is 170 horse so we're just dancing around that 170 and uh, the way we have the 
EFI management is always making compensations due to pipe temp. I'm sure you can see where uh, the pipe temp got up pretty hot on this video. I have to look back and see what it was. I can only look at so many things at a time, but uh, that's just a little uh, view of what we do here at the Bike Band R&D facility.